Hi everybody, welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Chocolate Beauty. We're gonna be talking about marriage medicine. Let's get into it. Dr. Simone and her son decides to go shopping for his college supplies. He is about to leave for college and she's getting things together for his dorm. And while they were shopping, they were talking about to throw a basketball tournament like they did a few years ago, the adults versus the kids as a going away party as he heads off to college. So he said that he wanted to invite Dr. Jackie and her husband because her husband has been a part of his journey as he played basketball throughout the years. And Dr. Simone has her reservations about inviting Dr. Jackie because they still have issues. But at the same time, she does have to honor the request of her son because uh, she cannot take away the relationship that her son has with Dr. Jackie's husband. He has been there. So I can understand why he would be adamant about having him there. Dr. Simone is trying to figure out how she's going to even have a conversation with Dr. Jackie because they're not on speaking terms. Dr. Jackie has a conversation with a very interesting patient of hers and her interesting story on how she broke her water. And that's all I'm gonna say, I'm gonna keep it PG on this channel, okay? You guys can watch the slip nick because I'm pretty sure it's everywhere on how this patient was able to break her water. Toya decides that she wants to spend quality time with her husband since the kids are out the house and she runs him a bubble bath and they both get into the bath and they have a discussion. And her husband brings up the fact that she has had a nasty attitude lately. And I'm glad that he called her out on it because Toya has been absolutely nasty. And he said that he didn't marry her for her to just berate him. In the confessional, she says that her husband told her that he wanted to marry a strong woman. But I don't think him marrying a strong woman means that you're going to belittle your husband. I don't think that's what he meant. So the fact that you're trying to use the excuse that you're a strong woman and that's why you may berate your husband or that's why you may have an attitude and, and using that as the reasoning of why you disrespect your husband like why can't you see that talking to him in a certain type of way is just not it it's just not healthy for your marriage and to be quite clear he's the one that brings in the money he's the one that works Anelia takes her parents to her house that her and her husband are currently building for themselves and Anelia's mom just had nothing but negative things to say about the house. He criticized everything. And her husband was getting upset and he has every right to be. Because at the end of the day, he's paying for the home. He's building a home. The house is something that he's making sure that he built for his family. Her dad tries to cool things down by pulling Amelia to the side and saying, you have to work on just tolerating your mom. You know how the way she is. And Amelia uses the excuse that the reason why her mom is so critical is because she comes from a very well family so she's always going to criticize everything when it comes to uh, nice things and she's always going to compare the mansion that they have in India to whatever home they have in the United States. I mean, like, who really wants to walk around with somebody criticizing them all the time? Did Katessa and Anelia meet up? And Anelia was telling Dr. Katesta that she felt that she was very disrespectful and her mom was threatened. Like Dr. Katesta said, that's a reach because your mom was pulling on her. She was trying to leave. Well, how is she attacking your mom or threatening to attack your mom? Make it make sense. You are making it seem like the Contessa was the aggressor. Dr. Contessa didn't put her hands on her. Dr. Contessa told her to get her hands off of her. So how is she wrong for telling somebody to get off of her? Anelia, you can miss me with that. Talking about your mom felt threatened. Girl, bye. Nobody attacked your mom. Nobody was threatening your mom. Nobody ain't do that. Your mom decided to put her hands on somebody else. Putting your hands on somebody when they're in a heated moment is just not the way to go. Okay, period. I mean, and, and that's a violation of somebody's space. To miss me with you trying to paint Dr. Contessa as the aggressor. And when Toya was the one that ignited that argument, okay? You can miss me with that. Although everybody gets invited to the basketball tournament, they all have it at Dr. Heavenly's house because Dr. Heavenly has a basketball court and I guess her house is uh, big enough to hold everybody. So they played the game against the kids and they cheated. They cheated those kids. You know, like they said, life is not fair. 
So people are going to do you like that when you become an adult. So that's something that's a very real thing in real life. Dr. Heavenly, Dr. Heavenly, Dr. Heavenly. As we all know that Toya has an issue with throwing shade at people, but you went all the way left. She said that you had no silverware. You went and said, well, you can't afford your home. And then you telling her what Quad said, which she's going to find out anyway what Quad said, and, and that's something that you're going to use. And you just kept going and going in and going in and going in. And it's like, you're arguing with Toya. Toya, who is somebody who comes across irrational. Somebody who doesn't hear the opinions of other people and can care less about anybody's voice but her own. Let's, let's be clear. So you yelling and carrying on to somebody who don't really care, who is not going to listen to you. You, who's not going to hear you out is a waste of time and then you turn your energy to Anelia talking about that she doesn't have a real job because she's a blogger first of all she gets a paycheck from it and then you're going to tell her what kind of wife she is that she needs to make sure that she's the one that's taking the kids because he's the breadwinner and he's the one that brings in the money and he's a doctor so she needs to learn how to uh take the kids she should be the one that's carrying the kids upstairs not him girl you need to be quiet because your husband took the kids it's First of all, it was disrespectful. It was out of line. There was no need for you to say that. And people brought up the very valid point that Dr. Heavenly is now on YouTube. Decided to create a YouTube channel and start vlogging. So how is that different from somebody that's blogging? There's like no difference. And then she and Dr. Heavenly response was, there's no money in, in YouTube. You don't hardly make any money. It doesn't matter if you hardly make any money or not. At the end of the day, YouTube can be used as a way to monetize, as a way to make money. So you dismissing it is kind of dismissing a lot of your audience. And that's where you just lost me by attacking her that she doesn't have a job by saying that she doesn't know how to be a wife. At that moment, you look like Bozo the Clown because you are trying to make an avenue for yourself to make money off of YouTube. So how is that different from anybody else that's vlogging or blogging? I can understand that Dr. Heavenly was upset that Anelia tried to put herself in the category or the same conversation as Black Lives Matter. And she was talking about more on the side of colorism, then maybe you can insert yourself in the conversation. You can't insert yourself in the Black Lives Matter movement. You just cannot. Instead of Dr. Heavenly saying that first, she comes at her and tries to talk about everything else because you were upset about what she said about Black Lives Matter. I need you to stay focused and to talk about the topics that is really bothering you. Say that. Don't say all of those other things. Even though she talks like sometimes she's like a drunken fool, she does know how to make somebody feel small. And Anelia is no match to Dr. Heavenly. And we all know that Toya is going to fight, period. She doesn't like the women. She doesn't like them at all. And she's going to fight them every chance she get. So she jumps in to protect Anelia. All right, you guys. Thank you for watching my latest recap on Married to Medicine Season 8, Episode 4. Hopefully, I'll see you next week. Ciao.